And I want to dive into that because that is the pressure point. That is the point uh, that everybody brings up. If it's not windy at my house, I don't get it. Why would I lose power? You have to understand how it all works. So let me get into this. Issue number one, these red flag warnings extended four more hours for the valley spots and overnight till Friday in the morning. Now, yes, the wind speeds will be coming down from where we are right now gradually, but we're still within that windy and dry territory to warrant a red flag warning that's been extended by several hours, if not overnight for some of these areas. The wind at the moment it is strong, it is gusty. We're seeing some really strong wind gusts for the higher elevations. And, and to, just to bring out this point again, uh, you can see that for some of these spots, there's El Dorado Hills, a 20 mile an hour gust, that's not that windy. Grass Valley, Nevada City, four miles an hour. That's not windy at all. However, look how close, just very, very close in some of these canyons and passes where these big transmission lines are, 42 mile an hour gusts, 53 mile an hour gusts. We've seen that all night long. And in some of these places, it's actually increasing. So it is frustrating because it doesn't make sense to your your reality and what you've been going through. And if I was in my house with no power and I'm looking outside and there's not a breath of wind, I would be frustrated as well. But when you understand where the, where your power is coming from via the grid, hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, it doesn't make the problem go away, but hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. Let me give you one more example. There's Placerville. In some cases, your transmission lines of how you get power in that community might be going upstream to a hydroelectric dam. And if there's extreme weather for anywhere along these lines, and in some cases, your power may be coming from out of state, from Oregon, from Utah, from a nuclear power plant in Arizona, it's all tied to the grid and it depends on how it's coming to you. The prime example of this was the campfire in Paradise. It was not a windy morning. I was working that morning. It was not windy there, but in the Feather River Canyon, not too far away up Highway 70, strong wind gusts that morning up to 60 mile an hour plus power line issue. And we all know what happened next. So again, it's a frustrating point. We've been hearing about it for days now, but that's how things are laid out. Let me tell you this. I showed you the red flag warning extended. Once we get to Friday morning, everybody should be moving out of this stuff and the weekend ahead should be much better. But the next question is, when is the power coming back on for that? We don't know.